Hey guys, Dave from the Rookie, Four Nerds by Nerds, hanging out with Nerd Arcus Ted. And today we're gonna ramble off some free D and D resources to use in your game. <music> Let's start this video by thanking our sponsor, Drive Through RPG. Uh, for your digital product needs, you can head over to there. There's a link in the description, as well as a coupon code, one time, 10% discount for any order over $10. Go check it out. All right. So we're going to we're gonna get into uh, free and digital uses or resources of uh, you know, material out there. For, for gaming, specifically for D&D, there's some things that we left off, like, I'll just, right off the bat, because I know people are going to, it's pretty popular, and people are going to mention it, and that's Orc Pub. Uh, they might be in a dispute right now with, uh, over licensing stuff, well, lack of licensing stuff. And we're going to try, we're going to stay away from anything that we feel that would be in, infringing upon the rights of, uh, you know, our IP of other companies, for sure. So, but that being said, there is still a ton of free options out there that you can add right to your game. So now drive through RPG, there's a load of stuff that is either just free or pay what you want. And you know, please please go check them out and you know, you can search by dollar value uh, and and see what kind of resources you can have for whatever RPG games that you're playing. Yeah, actually any of the one bookshelf um, publishing online publishing companies or it's all the same company, so that you know, there's one for comics, there's one for you know, drive through RPG, which is like all role playing games. There's the DMs Guild, all of those, and that promo code that we gave you that's in the description. You can use that at any of those as well. But if you're not looking to spend any money, you can go there and walk away with a ton of stuff. I mean, just on drive through RPG between yes, I have notes I'm looking at. Um, just that drive through RPG alone, there was 203, 34 Whoops. items that I found that were pay what you want or just free. DM's Guild, there's 117. So there's quite a bit there. Like that that's a lot of reading right there. That's over that, that's over, you know, 350 digital downloads. All right. So that you know, that's you know, as as Dave said, it's over over 350 items. You know, so that that'll keep you reading for a while. And you know, all of the pay what you want, it does say, you know, hey, if you really like this, you know, Feel free to come back and support that publisher by, you know, rebuying at whatever you feel is the appropriate amount. So I kind of like that that service is there. Yeah, I've definitely heard of people doing that. They get they pay pay what you want, pay zero, and they find that they really appreciate or enjoy what the author has done, and then they'll come back and compensate them, which is really cool. Uh, now, starting with just the rules, if you need just the rules for basic D and D, you can actually go to Wizard of the Coast, and they have the basic rules for both the player. And, and the Dungeon Master. Now, you may not get access to everything, but you get access to a bunch of stuff. Also, under, you know, just basic rules as well, you also have the 5e SRD, which is go going to be a reprinting of a lot of the basic rules. But in addition to that, when third-party publishers put things out and it's it's free, that, also tends to, that stuff tends to also get uploaded over there as well. So it becomes another part of that resource that you can check out. Now, a lot of... A lot of DMs out there, they make their own maps. They spend a lot of time crafting this whole dungeon or this whole area, you know, to be exactly the way they want. And that's great if you really enjoy doing that. But if you're seriously into just getting to the game, there are loads of places that you can go and get a map. I've, I've used some programs that I can put in the the size of the dungeon, the number of rooms that I want, you know, how many encounters I want and you, it'll just populate stuff, you know, for you. So if you're if you're looking for those kind of things, they're out there. But there's also Dyson Logos maps which he puts in he makes fantastic maps. Even there's even a hatching style name for for him called the Dyson hatch, which that's the dark shading that you use. Uh, all maps and you know a lot of his stuff is downloading used for free mm -hmm. also elven tower Cart cartography is another one that does similar things he's got a website uh, i'm going to put a link to all these resources in the description down below uh he derek from elven tower has actually been on our show before and done the live chat with us great guy but if you are a gm and you're like no no i use my own maps there's nothing wrong with that because Dungeon Painter Studios has you covered with Pyromancers.com. You can go over there and they do have a paid program, 
but they also have a free version that you can use and make maps uh, that's a little bit more basic. But I've used, played with it before and done a lot of stuff with it. Uh, I believe Nate has as well. It's a, it's a it's a fairly intuitive program that you can do a lot of stuff with, so it's it's fun to use. Uh, now, now there's also plenty of digital tools that are out there. You know, maybe you're not maybe you're not looking for maps, but you might be looking for charts. So there's Chartopia that has a plethora of those those kind of things. You want to be able to randomly roll to determine you know this or determine that. That's a great resource to be able to to go and grab that. Yeah, with Chartopia, it's a it's community driven, so. One, you could actually literally go there and just make the charts that you want and have them. Or you can you know, go into the community, see what the community has made, and you can access those or use those as well. They've been developing for that for a while. They've been doing different things with it. So it keeps improving it better. So that's a resource you can absolutely use. There's also Don John RPG Tools. This is like random everything. They, you, they've got encounters, uh, treasure, and... They're the two I can think of off the top of my head, but I know there's a bunch of other stuff over there as well. So you could go over there, and it's a fr it's free digital tool to use, and that's a lot of cool stuff for you to use as the GM, especially if you're doing stuff on the fly and you haven't thought stuff up. You have the web page up, and like I need treasure, or I need a random counter for a third level party, or whatever. It, it they have it. Now D and D Beyond, you know, we we've been using this you know off and on for you know, a, a while now, and. It's, it's really enjoyable because there's advanced filters that you can go in there if you're looking for, oh, I need a monster of a certain CR, or I want to look for spells with this particular, you know, key phrase, or, you know, you want to make characters in, in so many ways. It, it is just that much easier as a DM and as a player to be able to use something like that. Now, to access all the features of D&D Beyond, you're going to have to shell out, a little, shell out a little money, pony up some cash. But there is also a free version that you can use. It's going to have ads on it, and you'll have limited functionality. But it's still pretty useful. You'll still get access to a lot of things Ted talked about, those advanced features, but only for... The material that you actually have. Yeah, for the, and if you don't own anything, then it just accesses the basic rules. Then there's also Home Brewery. And that is basically a program for you to make like PDFs that look like, uh, look, you kind of look like Wizards of Coast products. So it, it doesn't give you extra material per, per se, it just gives you another way of presenting it. They might also have, they have a community over there too. I'm not sure if there's a way to share it back and forth. And right, then we have the, uh, the Kobold Fight Club, which is an encounter builder. Uh, you know, I, I haven't used this one, but have. I haven't used it, but uh, I know plenty of people that swear by it. And basically what it does is it helps you to build a balance counter for your games. It doesn't actually tell you what monsters you use or anything like that. But it, what it does is it takes into, into account different factors. You plug them in, and then it helps you out figure out your XP budget. You know, so those, those are just a handful of you know fr free digital resources for you to, to look at and i'm certain that there's others that we didn't mention and i know that you guys out there are itching to share them and a great place to do so is down in the comments below while you're down there don't forget to like share and subscribe while you're heading down to the comments why don't you stop off at the description where you can find that coupon code to drive through rpg so until next time stay, stay nerdy, nerdy.